What's up guys, welcome back to another video. We got something pretty special today, which is Arcadia Biosciences. These guys may be having a massive upside coming since they do have two really amazing products, good wheat and also good hemp. They mostly sell seeds, which might not be like the most exciting business, but keep in mind that seeds are just important as anything else. And we will be going through several different topics, including the estimated price targets from different analysts. We will be talking about like the earnings, which have been slowly improving. It's not really that great because it is a penny stock and they haven't really been making that much money. That's why the share price is so cheap. But overall, I feel like they finally have changed themselves around, getting a few contracts here and there, grabbing a lot of investors' attention. It's getting pretty good. Right now, if you check out Webull, the stock is hovering at roughly $3.78. Now, obviously, price will fluctuate because this video would not be out until like the next several hours. The recording of this video is at around February 10th and the share price is chilling pretty well. Volume is increasing rapidly and that's a good thing. Usually if you see a decrease in volume of the shares, it's a pretty bad sign because people are losing interest. But if you're having more volume, it's pretty good. In the past several months, it was hovering at roughly 100,000 to 300,000 volume per day, sometimes going below 100,000. That's pretty lousy. But recently, volume has been increasing, getting an average of 800,000 to roughly 2 million in a single day. And that looks pretty appealing to me. Now, if you zoom all the way out, you can clearly see these guys used to be a very expensive stock. At one point, they're at $66. At one point, they're at $10. Now, they're at just a measly price of three bucks, hitting an all-time low price of $2.30, all the way back in around December of 2020. That's not long ago. And recently, people have been catching on the attention of RKDA, which is the ticker of the stock. Now, keep in mind that I do not own any shares of RKDA, and this video is for entertainment purposes only. By the way, if you guys haven't joined the free Discord server, please do so. It's free to join. Link in the description below, 27,000 members and counting. You don't want to miss out because you don't have to pay a single dime. There's also a Patreon link below with exclusive chat room perks. Definitely check that out. Let's look at some of the earnings and on tip ranks because a lot of the information they show you is somewhat accurate and they have a pretty good track record. So the analyst price target is $5.25. This is roughly a 40% upside for Arcadia Biosciences. It's actually a pretty good sign. A lot of the penny stocks don't really get good forecasts. Most penny stocks get pretty lousy forecasts. This is why penny stocks are usually heavily shorted. The estimated EPS is roughly 44 cents negative which really isn't that great but compared to last year's eps of negative 72 cents i guess this is pretty good and that's because they have upcoming contracts and more institutions are buying in if you check out what's up you do have for example wells fargo increasing their shares by around 60 percent you do have gsa capital partners increasing their shares as well you also have morgan stanley wells fargo they seem to enjoy the stock as well increasing their positions obviously most of these guys don't really have that many shares of the company, but you do have some big holders. For example, Pap L. Roy and Associates holding roughly 738,000 shares. It's looking pretty awesome. So you do have a lot of institutions. If you scroll around, most of the major hedge funds institutions are either buying more shares or holding on their shares. Very rarely are you seeing anyone selling shares. I think most institutions know that the stock price is already at such a low price compared to what it was previously at like 10 eight seven dollars so it's actually pretty cheap especially with some pretty good upcoming catalysts one of their biggest products right now is going to be good hemp and this is going to be like a seed company essentially if you want to grow a bunch of these things you need seeds and their seeds are genetically superior they give you better yields etc also the company announced four different of its good hemp variants which you see right here. And a lot of these give you different yields, different products, and they're all really nice. Have all passed the rigorous standards of the National Association of Official Seed Certifying Agencies. That sounds like a pretty big mouthful, but it's AOSCA. And the review board's like, okay, your seeds are pretty good. They're pretty high quality. We will approve them. So currently you could pick different seeds. Some of them give you like better yield. Some of them are a lot stronger, etc. Some of them you could grow in very small and very dense environments and still get you really good yields. Some of them produce really large plants and really large leaves, heavy yield, etc. And because of the good products and because of this approval, they just got a distribution agreement 
with Tritium 3H. That's actually pretty good. They're expanding their sales to the Canadian market. And the hip market is a growing industry. We'll be talking about that towards the end of the video, but it's actually one of the fastest growing industries out there. A lot of people are really focusing on the battery industry, solar, wind, etc. But keep in mind that the hip industry is growing at such a fast pace that even myself was astonished. You also do have Arcadia Biosciences announcing $25.1 million of private placement. This is also another really bullish sign and the company is slowly trying to turn themselves around. You do have Arcadia owning a ton of patents, meaning other people can't really get the things they have. So they're pretty well protected with a lot of different products like good wheat, good hemp. And it, I get it, it seeds might not be pretty interesting, but because of good hemp and also Joe Biden, you know, the Biden administration, the Democrats, they really want to push for legalization of marijuana. I think cannabis and hemp are becoming more of like a really big deal and a lot of people seem to like it. What's super interesting about this is not only with a $25 million private placement, but you also have HC Wing, Wright & Co. maintaining a buy on Arcadia Biosciences. Even though they've lowered the price tag to $6 and it does say lower, but $6 is still a lot of money. That's like what 80 to 90% increase of the share price for this current moment. That sounds pretty good to me. And also, if you check out Yahoo Finance, these guys are pretty decent as well. Their one-year price estimate is $6.83, and the share prices are chilling pretty well. So far, the stock is after, you know, four bucks. It's not really moving that much. It's actually doing okay. I really like these penny stocks where they move up slow and steadily instead of really fiercely, and because that's pretty dangerous and pretty wild. The hemp market is one of the fastest growing industries of 2020 and by the way in the next few years it will be growing at an exponential rate i love to invest in things that expand at an exponential rate because no matter which company you buy as long as it's pretty decent with decent management and they don't mess around then you should be seeing the increase in share price so the fintech industry overall is growing this is why all of the just decent fintech companies are going up ev market is growing this is why all the ev companies are growing same thing with the hemp industry. It's estimated to be at around $5.33 billion for 2020, and it's estimated to reach roughly $15 billion by 2027. And essentially, you're looking at like 200, 300, 400% gains in just a few years. Right now, it's 2021. Every single year, we should be seeing a massive increase in the market of hemp, and that's pretty good. And guess what? One of the biggest products is good hemp, and they already sell several different seeds. I think the reason why so many other individuals are getting such high price targets and no one is really getting bad price targets is because these guys have a very reputable product. It's already reviewed and approved after rigorous studies that their products are genetically superior. And I'm pretty sure that if you want to have a whole entire farm of wheat and hemp, it's very nice to get seeds that are genetically superior, etc. So these guys, even though its seeds might not be super interesting, but it's growing, it's a penny stock, the revenue is increasing, and there's a lot of institutions out there not cutting its shares, and there's a lot of people out there from Wall Street, different analysts, giving it very good price targets. Thanks for watching, guys, and comment below.